Hi, it's Nick with the Run Testers, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Adidas Adistar and the Nike Invincible. Start with some of the key stats of the shoe. Uh, the Nike Invincible is the pricier option. It's 160 pounds in the UK, 180 dollars in the US. It has a nine millimeter drop from heel to toe, and it weighs in at 297 grams or 10.4 ounces. The Adi Star is 120 pounds in the UK, or 130 dollars in the US. It has a six millimeter drop, um, and it's the heavier shoe. It's 336 grams or 11.9 ounces. In terms of the designs of the shoes, obviously they're both big max cushion shoes. Uh, the Invincibles, big claim to fame is it's the first training shoe with, entire, with the midsole entirely made from Nike's Zumex foam. The kind of soft springy stuff that uh, is used in shoes like the Vaporfly. Now obviously that big slab of soft foam has the potential to be unstable, so Nike has put in some elements like this big red heel clip at the back here. Uh, they've made it very wide base and there's a quite a noticeable reinforced section in the heel, the heel counter, all of which try and make the shoe more stable while still being a very soft, comfortable option thanks to all that foam. You've got a fly knit upper with loads of cushioning around the collar and the tongue there and even the laces speak to the kind of luxury soft cruiser feel of the shoe, these big wide flat laces. And then the outsole, you've got a kind of waffle outsole that Obviously a really uh, you know, comprehensive coverage there to try and create good grip um, and durability on the shoe. And it's holding up pretty well for me so far after probably about 110k of running in this shoe. Now the Adistar, the Adistar introduces some new foams to Adidas's lineup. You've got the Repetitor foam in the kind of midsole and forefoot, the white stuff, and then Repetitor Plus at the back, which is a firmer EVA foam. Um, and that, the idea of having this firmer foam at the back is to kind of stabilize any heel strikes. Then you've got a really pronounced rocker on the Adistar. There's a bit of a rocker going on with the Invincible, but it's you know it's very noticeable here with the Adistar. And it's also got you know a slightly beveled heel, all of which try and make your regression from heel to toe more smooth on the run, despite the fact you know you've got this big max stack shoe on. Even though these foams are firmer than you'll find on the Invincible, um, Adidas is still concerned about stability with a max stack shoe, so there's for starters, you've got this very exaggerated shaping at the back to try and stop you rolling inwards on the run. And at the back, there's almost kind of a bucket seat design. You sit quite deep in the shoe and there's a firm heel counter at the back here, all of which to try and create more stability on the run when you are using a max stack shoe like this. The upper has a lot of reinforced sections. There's kind of mesh at the front, but then there's a kind of cage around the midfoot. Um, again, try and create you know less lateral movement when you're using the shoe and then like the invincible you've got a really you know large amount of padding around the heel and like and then the most aggressively padded tongue i've seen in a long time there's, there's a lot going on there uh, it's a very comfortable kind of plush design on top again which speaks to the fact this is a you know max cushion shoe designed mostly for kind of easy runs then on the outsole you've got you know nice amount of continental rubber to provide a lot of to provide grip in kind of all conditions and then a bit of a cutout to reduce the weight very slightly though obviously Weight saving is not a key concern when it comes to the Adistar. So when it comes to the fit, I used both of these shoes in my normal size and found that absolutely okay. I, I will say that the Invincible is quite a roomy shoe. I have fairly narrow feet and I had a lot of kind of probably slightly too much room around the toe box, more than I really needed, but I quite enjoyed having that and it wasn't something I found a problem on the run, but maybe there's a potential to go half a size down if you have narrow feet, but yeah. True to size worked very well for me, and that's probably what I'd recommend. And uh, the Adistar, yeah, had a lovely fit for me, true to size. Held the foot very nicely in place. This big tongue, you know, I found it very comfortable. It might get a bit hot in the summer, but yeah, at, you know, at the moment running it in the winter, I've really enjoyed using it. It's got a really nice, secure, and comfortable fit. Uh, Invincible is a shoe I used early on in the year for quite a lot of miles, including kind of two long runs, I did a 15 miler and a 30k run in it, and I really enjoyed using it at the time, and I think maybe at the time I underrated how much I enjoyed it, because it's come back into my rotation lately, after a year of using lots of different kind of easy day shoes, and cushion shoes, and I found that I've probably found this a little bit more enjoyable and interesting to use. It's got just a really fun ride you know there are other soft shoes out there like the nova blast but i think no one's quite matched the feel of the sumex foam and in even so it does create a very soft but energetic ride that actually is reasonably versatile i did a lot of kind of long runs in it where i'd start pretty chilled um but finish at a reasonable pace i think they that 15 mile or i think i did the last five miles around six minute miling and then the 30k exactly the same you know starting easy finishing kind of around 345k six minute miling 
and just yeah found it really good to use like um going out for all out speed work in it you know it does feel a bit bigger than you really need and maybe slightly cumbersome at times but there's a lot of bounce in that in the shoe and it's lighter even than its weight which you know isn't that high it is given that it is such a well cushioned shoe so yeah a really enjoyable shoe to run in and the same is true actually of the adistar i've used it a lot in the last week or so and this is not a shoe i expected to fall in love with really but it's a different ride to the Invincible for sure, very different. Like, so it's a bit firmer and it's much more about the smooth kind of rocker with this shoe. Like, it, The way it is so smooth means that firstly, you don't really feel that it's that firm at all. Like, it's a reasonably firm foam, but it actually feels perfectly fine underfoot because really what you're noticing is that you're gliding along the ground almost. And then the fact it just runs so much lighter than its weight, which is considerable. Like, It's one of those shoes where I think you really should disregard the number on the scales because... It is heavy and some people would just be put off by that. But when you run in it, it just doesn't feel like that at all. And I've done two easy long runs in the shoe and a lot of other easy running in the shoe and just enjoyed all of it. You just tick along nicely, you get into a rhythm and it just helps you log those miles. You just roll through nicely, you feel comfortable, you feel protected. So I kind of had two 90 minute long runs in the shoe of around kind of 21K. Um, and yeah, I felt very fresh at the end of them. Both of them being at the end of long training weeks. And I've got no real complaints about the Edistar when you're using it for that purpose. Um, you know, it does its job as a kind of you know nice cushioned long run and just general easy run option. Did also take it to the track and do some 400s in it, you know, at 75 second pace just to see what it felt like. And I've done a bit of those kind of progression runs in it where you finish a bit steady at the end. And it's not as versatile as a Nike, I'll say that. Like, it is a shoe that really needs to stay in that easy shoe niche for me like it's a cushioned option it does start to feel a bit big and heavy if you do try running a bit quicker in it um it's a shoe that's really going to be part of a rotation which is the same as is true of the invincible but this certainly more so it's going to take care of your easy miles and do it very well but there's not a lot of versatility there at all but one thing it does have the edge on is the fact that it's, it's definitely a very stable shoe. Like I am a neutral runner and I didn't have any concerns with stability with the Invincible, but the Adistar is noticeably you know, more stable and with the kind of all the elements going on, things like the shaping at the back, the, you know, the rocker design and stability elements around the upper, that might make it more attractive for lots of people because it is the more stable option. So, verdicts, these are actually probably two of my kind of favorite max cushion shoes. As a guy who doesn't really use max cushion shoes that much, I will say that normally for my easy runs, I still prefer something a bit more lightweight and versatile, something like the Puma Velocity Nitro. But if you are straying into the world of very big midsoles and chunky, chunky foams, then these are two great options, but for different reasons. So, yeah, you've got the soft, bouncy, fun, slightly more versatile Nike Invincible, you know, and then the stable, smooth Addy Star, which helps you tick over on those easy runs, but I wouldn't say it's something that you'd want to be using for any other kind of runs, whereas actually the Invincible for a lot of people will work quite well as an all-rounder, I think, uh, but you know it's still better for those kind of easy miles. So the other thing the Addy Star has on its side is that it's a fair bit cheaper, and I also think it's going to be really durable, this shoe. Like, I've done nothing to it. I've done 75k in it, and the shoe, apart from the fact I've got it a bit dirty, looks just as good as new. This is going to last a lot of miles, I feel. Whereas the Invincible, the Zoom X Foam, I still, it's good, I've, you know, I've seen no problems with it so far. Like I said, I've done 110k odd in it, and it feels very fresh underfoot. But I do think that foam is less likely to last and last and last than the Repetitor in the Adistar. So, in terms of value, you, the Adistar probably has the edge. But in terms of ride feel, I, I prefer the Invincible myself. I do find it a shoe that I just keep coming back to uh, when it comes to looking at these kind of big cushy shoes, just because it's a little bit more fun and kind of lively on the run. But yeah, if you are someone who worries a lot about stability, doesn't want an overly soft feel in your cushion shoe, then the Adistar is a different option and one that I think a lot of people would enjoy. That's it guys, that's a comparison of the Invincible and the Adistar. Have you used these shoes? Uh, if so, please let us know what you think of them in the comments below. Have you tried the Adistar? Did it surprise you? Like me and Kieran were both very surprised by how this shoe ran compared to how it looked. So yeah, let us know if that was the case for you as well. Um, please like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.